Hi, my name is Brian Waldrop here at ScanSource, and today we are going to set up these Aruba Instant on APs. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the Aruba Instant uh, AP15, and we're going to go ahead and open that up. We have, uh, of course, the card, basic setup guide, safety and compliance. We have the AP. We'll go ahead and take that out. We have, of course, cable. And last but not least, mounting. So let's go ahead and move this stuff out of the way. And let's go ahead and follow the card. So the first thing we're going to do is plug in the AP and we're plugging this into a live network port and now this will be connected again to PoE and uh, an actual live port. So next step is we're going to uh, this is going to start powering up. We are going to, using our my iPad, go to the uh, App Store and download the Instant On app. So I'm going to go in and do that. Okay, I've started that download process. Shouldn't take but a sec. Okay, from here, see, we should be ready and I'm going to log into the account that I have already created. Hi, right. uh, the I have downloaded the app. Um, our AP is uh, flashing the green and amber, so we're ready for provisioning. Now we are going to go ahead and set up a site. So I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to set up a site just for right now. I'm going to call this test and give it a password. Okay, from now we're going to go ahead and set up a network. Let's, uh, I'm going to create that. Okay, we hit continue. Now we're at a point where it is going to add the new device. So it is searching. It sees the AP15. I'm going to add the device. And uh, we have, it talks about setting up the country. The country is already set up. We're going to activate the site. And my site is now ready. So we actually do now have a uh, screen where everything is okay. Uh, the network is active and we have a device online. Now that we've got the network set up and we've got the AP up and running, let's go ahead and move on to the hospitality uh, AP. So uh, much like the other, we're going to go ahead and take everything out. cable, and then actual wall mount. Now you will see that this does come with the desk or tabletop mount. So let's go ahead and get this moved over here. Um, for this demonstration, we're actually going to just power this device up and we're going to connect it to the AP15 using Bluetooth and mesh. So let me go ahead like that. Okay, now we see that we have the green and amber light on the AP11D. So we're going to go ahead and start the process of adding that. So on the app, we will go to uh, devices and we will hit the plus button. And then it will search for my device. Now this can take up to five minutes, so uh, 
allow a little bit of time for that, but it shouldn't take very long. Okay, what you will see here is that the device, and this is the AP11D, it has shown up. So we can add that device. It will ask if we want to confirm, which we will. We accept that. We're going to give it a name. And so right now, we're going to just call it AP11D. Hit go. And now we will hit back. And it has been added to our inventory. So we have the AP15 and the AP11D. Now we go back and we now have two devices showing up on our main dashboard.